see how good it really is. What's up everybody? Griever here and today we are going to be taking a look at this, the Fortnite 6SH. I'm not 100% sure what that's standing for. I'm going to guess six shot hand cannon. I don't play Fortnite. I apologize to anyone who does. I've tried it. I, it's just not my thing. I'm sorry. Uh, but some of the nerf Fortnite blasters really actually haven't been terribly bad. Uh, the Desert Eagle that I had reviewed a while back actually wasn't too terrible. And if you want to see the review of that, you can click the card up here. Uh, the SMG that came out was basically a Strife, which is pretty cool, which, I mean, was pretty cool aesthetically. There's going to be a Fortnite Retaliator coming out, and I forget the name of it, but I'll add it here somewhere. But this was one that I was very excited about, although originally seeing the pictures, I wasn't. But then when it started leaking online in actual production form, I got re-excited about it because this is a Fortnite hammer shot, which fires six darts, not five, which I'm very happy with, and also for the fact that the stupid barrel comes detached. Now, besides the pistol, you are getting six darts with it. You're getting also this giant faux barrel. Now, unlike that Desert Eagle, this is not an end strike attachment piece. This is actually a push fit uh, connection. So if I was to attach this, which believe me, I'm not. What you do is you take the barrel, fit it on, and basically push till you hear the click. And then you just have a comically, comically absurd large hammer shot. So... The fact that this isn't an end strike attachment kind of irks me a bit, because if it was, I would definitely keep it. Um, but as it is, I'm probably going to either chop this down, or if anything, just sand off the connection points, just so this way it is definitely not going to be functional. Uh, going over the cosmetics of this piece, though, i got to say, while it's extremely orange, <laughs> uh, for the most part, the lines and design of this actually are really kind of nice and I do like it. Uh, the profile is, it's got that Fortnite profile where it like tapers out towards the end, but grip wise, this thing is beautiful. Um, I can fit my whole hand on it and with room. So that means there are going to be people who say that the handle is way too big. Your mileage will vary on that. Um, I've really kind of stopped taking note about handle size too much, or at least I think I have. Main reason being is I'm 6'4". I have big hands. So for me, this is absolutely perfectly comfortable, and I love it. Other people may not find this comfortable. They may find it too big, which is where I stopped complaining about, you know, handle sizes being too small because, again, you know reasons but i find this very comfortable i also love the fact that there's no faux like grip tape whatever around this one unlike the hammer shots but uh even looking at it though you do have some like it's a little hard to pick up just because of the mass amounts of orange i'll try and get a bit close a bit better on the uh bench camera when we open it up but the lines on this side of the blaster are really nice. Uh, you also do have the same lines on this one. You only have, uh, you have paint on both sides, which is, you know, beautiful. But you only have lettering, on, lettering painting on one. Because here it says nerf and you have the white paint on it. Here it does say nerf, but there's no paint on it. And same thing goes for the barrel. It says Fortnite here. And it says Fortnite here, however, this side isn't painted, whereas this side is, so you know which is the glamour side. Overall, it works just like a hammer shot. Pull the uh, 
hammer down, pull the trigger, and you fire a dart. And speaking of darts, it does come with six elite darts, and it's this really horrendously ugly orange color. Like, it's in off orange to the blaster, so it, it's really light. I don't care for it. Uh, the baby blue end strike tips are, I guess, kind of nice, but yeah, I don't care about those darts whatsoever. Uh, but yeah, that's basically it cosmetically and how this works. Uh, we'll go over to the workbench, we'll take a look at the internals of this, and I do have a couple of hammer shot parts around, so I'm going to see how well I can do of a compare and contrast to see if any hammer shot parts will work for this so like possibly the blaster parts kit or a worker kit if you can still get your hands on it i'm not worried about switching out the barrels because this has six shots and that's what i've always wanted at least out of a hammer shot uh but my main thing is i want to see if maybe the hammer can be uh updated or changed out I'm honestly looking at that trigger, and I am not 100% sure any of the existing triggers will work on this, but fingers crossed we can work with something with the hammers. So, And then I'll give you my final thoughts on it. So let's just go over to the workbench, open it up, take a look, see what we're working with. Okay, so as always, I have open, I've taken all the screws out. I've actually went ahead and opened it up. Um, from what I can see here, it does look like the... Here I have an orange ModWorks trigger, and it looks like it might be a little too small for this to work. I could, I mean, I can always give it a shot uh, when I do the actual mod. Uh, as far as the hammer goes, it, I think it might actually work. I think we might be able to use hammer shot parts in this thing. And if that's the case, then that is freaking awesome because then we can just we have existing parts to already start modding this thing with which is awesome uh i did get a spring spacer from foam demic a while back so i'm gonna have to find that in order and try and throw it in there because that does look like it's it's the standard hammer shot spring so it does look already beefy to begin with um and it also looks like because it is the larger cylinder, there is an extra little piece added in towards the bottom here to help with uh, cylinder alignment. And as I was saying earlier in regards to the lines on the pistol itself, they are pr there aren't many, but they're pretty prominent. So here you have a line here and here distinguishing the top from the bottom piece. You have the hammer well here, which looks like it could be painted off into one color. And then you have like these two little windows right here that look like they would also work very well. And another fun thing, the heel of the pistol or the heel of the grip actually does come out and you can also separate off the grips. So if you don't want to paint the grips, you definitely can. And oh my God. God, I just realized what the hell this thing reminds me of. Okay, sorry. But yeah. Oh my god. The paint scheme for this thing is the Alley Viper from G.I. Joe like ages ago. And I am going to put in a picture to this because... Wow. I just realized that. <laughs> okay. Anyway, yeah. So... When I mod this up, I'm definitely going to try and put in that orange mod work kit into here or at least the metal hammer and trigger um just to you know beef it up a bit and also the hammer would be a little bit bigger so it'll be a little easier to work with uh i may you know or i may leave it as is i don't know yet i haven't decided i'll figure that out when i get to the actual uh time to mod this up but yeah it looks like it is a straightforward hammer shot internal and that's awesome so oh and if you are wondering you can either just cut down the barrel do whatever you want to mod it to modify it or you can just outright remove 
the whole coupler piece and just have a giant hole in the front of your hammer shot. But then again, I mean, the hammer shot never had a barrel on it to begin with, so there's that. So I'm just going to button this thing all back up. Um, also, just a one more quick note, because I don't know why I'm just feeling very scattered brain right now after the Alley Viper revelation. There are no hidden screws underneath this panel. So the four screws that are holding on the grip are just the four screws that are in the um, the grip itself. There's nothing hidden underneath it, which is really, really nice. And yeah. So I'm going to put this thing back together. Oh, sorry. These two screws are slightly smaller than the rest of them. There are 11 screws in total. Two small ones go right here. The others are really kind of interchangeable. So that's the last note, I swear. Now I'm actually going to screw this thing back together and I'm going to give you my final thoughts on it. Okay, so my final thoughts on the Nerf 6SH. Um, I really like it. The profile of this is really nice. It looks like it could definitely do well with a lot of interesting paint jobs. Uh, the fact that the grips come off so you have the option of either painting them or not is always a great uh, little addition on this. The fact that this is a hammer shot build with a natural six round clip as opposed to a five is definitely a plus in my book. The price may throw a couple of people off because I picked this up for 30 bucks on Amazon. Now, depending because the hammer shot is getting a little harder to find, the original style hammer shot retails for about 30 bucks on Amazon anyway. Uh, the new Amazon only ones though, they retail for a little less depending on when you catch them and all. So, but you're also, if you, if you want to think about it, you're getting an extra round and you're also getting a worthless piece of plastic with it. I mean, a uh, barrel that attaches to this permanently, which makes this thing ungodly, stupidly big. So, I mean, that's really where the extra cost is going. But if this ever pops up on sale, I, th this is a must buy if it's ever on sale. Um, I'm definitely going to be picking up a few others just because I really do like this. And for the fact that it comes naturally six shots, that's a... Like I said, that's auto win in my book over even the standard hammer shot, which I love. So, yeah, that's going to be it for this video. As always, if you enjoy the content we put here, please throw us a like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of the latest entry into the Fortnite nerf series. I'd love to hear your comments on it. And also, if you ever want to drop me and Arlene a correspondence or throw something in fan mail or whatnot, we have a P.O. Box, so check that out in the description. Uh, and don't forget to click that bell icon, otherwise you may not know when me and Arlene are doing our silliness here on the channel, or when I decide to mod this thing. So, again, thank you all for joining us. I will see you guys next time.